I have a question for you. Yeah. Are you still friends with Jeff? Uh, yeah. Or friendly? Yeah. I saw him at a wedding a couple weeks ago and we chatted. And How um, do you feel about that? What is your take on that? Oh, gosh. It's going to get me in trouble. Um, uh, not if you're being listen, I, totally honest. I, I, I Listen, I, 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 I love David. You know, like David's my friend. I'm close with David. I support, right. I support David. You know, I support David through anything at the same time. You know, I wish Jeff the best and I hope that, you know, it all works out. But, you know, David, I, I you know, I'm, I'm there for him. I and get it. You were there for that. them. Yeah, but yeah. they're two guys who were really good friends. And, yeah. And we all... Jeff was incredible in the videos and, 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 and not, and even, not even just in the videos, but as a person, Jeff, uh, Jeff helped me lose like 20 pounds once. He would like come over to my house and work me out. And like, especially when I had a breakup, you know, he came and. He was like, Jason, we're going to fucking, you know, get you back into shape. And he's like, that's Staten Island kind of thing right. about him. You were well, you were standing there when he hit the, the crane, right? No, I went to the, I was, at, I, I went into town to go to the bathroom. I missed it. I was not there for that. It's, a, it's something that I, yeah, I think about a lot. It sucks. I wish, I wished I was there. So how did day. you find out? Like what was, so what happened? You come back uh, from the bathroom? I and come out of a Walgreens and Susie Antonian uh, calls me and says, there's been an accident. Meet us at the uh, Utah Valley Hospital. And it was awful. It's just like, it's very, it's very painful for, for everybody. You know, it's, I it's would pain, imagine. painful for Jeff and it's, it's painful for all of us too. It's Is there no awful. way out of it besides, I know there's a legal battle right now, so there's only so much. Is there no way? It just seems... In, and I'm just asking from the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just seems that Jeff's biggest problem was the fact that um, he wanted more interaction from David. Is David just too, was he too uh, what, what, is, what is Jeff's biggest problem? Isn't it the fact that he didn't visit him enough in the hospital? He well, didn't even ask him David, how he was I doing? I watched both. I watched both podcasts. I did a little research. Okay. But, and then David explained that it was hard for him and he didn't know how to act in that situation, right? Mm. Like, Je wasn't Jeff saying that his biggest problem is that he didn't feel like there was enough remorse coming mm -hmm. from David? Mm -hmm. And David felt like he didn't know what to do in that situation. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think that he, Jeff probably wanted that more from David. And then yeah. I also think that she, maybe David didn't, maybe did reach out, but didn't, mm -hmm. or didn't know to reach out because Jeff's like such a tough guy. And mm -hmm. um, I really don't know. I no, mean, I, this I get, is, this I get is like, kind of both sides in the sense it's, that. It's literally horrible. They did this to me on BFFs. So they did the same thing. And it's like, oh. I understand like you want to know about it. And I don't really, I don't know the inner workings. I don't know if David called him or I, or like Jeff, I, I heard something that Sir, I don't they wanna... didn't pay the medical bills. But I think what really happened was they didn't know about the medical bills. There's so much like back and forth about it. And, but isn't the, I, th isn't the major thing just between them both yeah. communication? Like, I feel like we have, we being just a general public and maybe you also have, um, tidbits from both sides, but both sides aren't together. Like everything that I hear them saying, right. why aren't they saying it to each other I uh, think they're trying, from both right? sides? You know, I don't know. They just can't get on the same page or I really don't know. I, I, I don't know. What, what exactly are you talking about? Like you're saying, you're wondering about the lawsuit? Well, like why, no, Well, the, I know the, now the it's a lawsuit. A I'm not asking thing. you about a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. asking you about, listen, two friends are working together. Mm -hmm. Nobody was doing, you know, whether it's irresponsible or responsible isn't even the issue. Mm -hmm. They're both working together. They're doing something. Mm -hmm. An accident happens. It's called mm -hmm. an accident because yeah. it's an accident. It's an accident. And now 100%. because of these ac because of this accident they are no longer friends. Right. Beyond the, the let's not talk about the lawsuit, they're no longer friends. So how do you patch that up? I saw you do the podcast where he tried to reach out to um Jeff as far as his view and then I hear you hear Jeff talk about it. Yeah. But the, the, you don't hear them or even see them at this point. No, I don't think it's repairable. I mean, I really, I, I don't, I don't know if it, I don't, you'd have to ask them. I, I mean, wasn't asking about you, about them or their takes or anything. I was yeah. asking about you, like yeah. your relationship now, because I know you he are closer with David yep. and that's your guy. Closer I'm asking David, yeah. about your relationship now with Jeff. If you have one, how that's been for you, if it's hard, because I know that you were very close at one point to everyone that you worked yeah. with. 
It's super hard. I mean, I see Jeff. I saw him at a wedding. We mm -hmm. talked. And then I saw him at Runyon the other day because we do, Todd and I do Runyon in the morning and Jeff does Runyon a lot. I saw him there. He's super nice. He's super upbeat. He looks great. He's moving on with his life. Right. And, uh, and he was su he's super kind to me and he's super kind. Is it uncomfortable for you? No, not uncomfortable at all. I mean, you know, these are, these are grown men and they, they have that issue and they have to figure it out. You know, it's not uncomfortable for me when I, if I see Jeff or if I see David or if I see Trisha. So there's not a sense of divide you know, in the friend group. It's interesting to hear because from our point of view yeah. outside, yeah. the Trisha thing was explosive. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and even beyond you, you know, the, the this issues that she's had beyond you, after you, have always been incredibly explosive. So yeah. I'm just, a, it's just. I try to, I try to do. I try to have empathy for everybody. I think it's really important, you know, I, especially because they're younger. Uh, Je Jeff is a lot younger than me. David's a lot younger than me. And I, I just having more years than them, I understand that, you know, why people do things, where they come from. I understand Jeff's side. I understand David's side. And I also just try to approach everybody with empathy. You know, Trisha had a horrible, horrible upbringing. I mean, awful. And I don't want to go into it, but so when she was coming after me, I, I try to look at it like, oh, there's a, there's a reason for that, you know, or if, if you look at anybody, you know, when you go after, when people go after like Shia LaBeouf, for example, right. Oh, he's crazy. Shia LaBeouf's crazy. Like, well, no, he was a kid actor, you know, he had a, a tough dad. And so, yeah, it's probably going to make you a little nuts, you know? So that's how that's how I I try to look at it. That's understanding it. Yeah. But then you don't feel like any proactivity as far as maybe trying to quell it or getting people back together. I have tried. You uh, seem like the peacemaker. I am the peacemaker. I have yeah. we I have tried to put them together in a room, and um and David tried. You know we we invited Jeff on the podcast that we did, which, you know honestly we didn't feel good about after we did it. That was a mistake. I thought. You know, even though we said our side of it or David said his side right. of it. Because but it's cause, cause you, know, when you, you don't want to do it publicly. Even, even right. this, what we're doing right now, and I understand you want to know, and it's it's great content, but even doing this right now is like, ah, oh, fuck. It's like, is this going to make David feel like shit? Is this going to make Jeff feel like shit? And it's- Well, I hope it doesn't. I'm, I'm saying yeah, that right away. I yeah, have no- uh, And I, I'm concerned. You know, I am, I'm, I'm always concerned for their well-being. Well, that's my Especially point. as the oldest, uh, the oldest guy in the group. My like, point my was job. not- them like i know that they can speak for themselves my entire body is cramping up talking about sorry this. No, we can I'm move kidding. on no 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 stay on it stay about on you it. and your feelings about it and yeah. how it affected you and your life personally yeah it sucks yeah. it sucks i mean I, we, we all love jeff yeah I mean, jeff was like the best 